Hi, I'm Kate, and as you guessed it, today I'm going to be talking about um, journaling and the different types of journaling. So, a type of journal that I've done in the past is um, this large one, which I call scrap journaling, because um, I take something small that I find each day and just tape or glue or staple it in, no matter like what it is or if it doesn't fit, that's why it's this large, and I actually have two of those. Yep. <clears throat> and they last about a year, depending on how much you write. Um, so, like I said, so some flowers, notes, tags, brochures, pamphlets, string, drawings, feathers, plants, really like anything that I find. And so, um... Obviously, when you write in journals, you can write about different things or how in detail you want to go. This one was just like a what I did that day. Like, we did Zumba and I had an asthma attack, but it was really fun. Like, it's just a short snippet about my day instead of like an in-detail description of like feelings and stuff like that. Another journal that I've had in the past is this small cute one. I love it to death, and it's from the 80s, and I bought it for 40 cents at um, a thrift store in Santa Cruz called Abbott's Barn. It's great. If you live around there, you should check it out. Um, so this was my first, like, happy journal, and I would just write down things throughout the day that, you know, made me happy, and it's relatively flat because I tried to keep the things that I put in there, like, pretty flat, like a picture, a flower, this cute picture of my brother. Uh, just things that wouldn't stick out a whole lot. Drawings. Um, so like I said, it's just about some things that made me happy today. Like, um, church was nice. I wore my new jeans. I filled the car up with gas at the gas station for the first time. You know, just things that made me happy. So the reason I like this is because it's kind of more an emotional journal and like the last one. Um, or the last two, I guess. Um, so then you can go back and remember, I feel like, because you remember the days based more on emotions. So if you're more into that, that's a good type of journaling you could choose. Okay, this journal is pretty similar to the last one I showed you, um, because it's, I write down the same type of things, like things that made me happy, because that's just a style of journaling that I really feel like I like. Um, but also it takes a lot of the elements from the first journals, the scrap journals, and kind of combines it to a nice like scrapbook type thing. See, it's still a little thicker than it should have been. And there's some things sticking out over here. And um, I just think it's really nice because it's really pretty. Like it takes different things throughout my day, but it also like combines it in a really more organized, like pretty way. So... I really, I really like this style, honestly. It's my favorite. But also, it is a lot more time-consuming than, for example, just randomly stapling things. So, it just depends on how crafty you really feel like you are and <laughs> how willing you are to get glue all over your hands. <laughs> so, most of the journals I've talked about are daily journals or almost everyday journals. And so, this is like... A type of journal if you don't want to write every day. Um, this one's actually a monthly journal, which may seem really weird. Um, but so it's postcards, and this like book is actually just like a photo album I found at the dollar store. Oh, so, uh, my family travels sometimes, and I collect postcards from where wherever we go, or like I'll get them at an antique shops and things like that. So that's cool for me because I write letters to myself. Um, so that's really cool for me to go back and see, like, my progress and stuff. And I always write myself, like, advice. So that's kind of a really cool thing for me to reflect on, you know, who I am and how I've grown and stuff. So that's another type of journal style if you don't really want to write every day, but you still want to be able to see the change over time and stuff. Of course, besides those last about three different types that I showed you, there's a ton of other styles of journals, obviously. There's more like a diary style or really whatever works for you, you know? Whatever you feel like 
you enjoy the most. Um, but, like, along with those types, I also have, like, a sad journal, so I can, like, rant about stuff, and it just has, like, drawings in it sometimes. Um, a poetry journal. Um, this one's really pretty, actually. My friend, um, brought this back for me from, um, Bangladesh. So, it's homemade and stuff, so that's really pretty. And I just write poetry in it. Um, and then this one, which was actually letters that I wrote to, like, my ex when we were still together, and I went back through afterwards and, um, turned it into a lot of slam poetry, which was really cool for me. Journaling is a really cool art form because it can be as messy, like these giant ugly ones with a bunch of crap taped in them, or as clean and pretty and not wrecked as you want it to be. Um, and there's a million different styles. And a million different, like, types of ways you can write in them. And they're all equally good. Just, you have to find something that really works for you. If you have any questions or anything about journaling that you'd like me to cover a video on, uh, comment below. <laughs> Thanks!